Hello, you are welcome to Remedia One platform for learning. Today we are going to discuss WASI Integrated Science Practicals for school candidates. Question 1. In an experiment to test for the presence of starch in a leaf of a flowering plant, the following steps were taken. I. The leaf was boiled in water for 3 minutes. I. I. The boiled leaf was placed in a test tube containing alcohol. I. 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 The leaf was then dipped in warm water for three seconds. Study the steps carefully and answer the questions that follow. A. State I. The reason for each of the steps. I, 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 and I, I, I. Then I, I. Two observations that would be made after carrying out step two. I, I, I. Two precautions to be taken in this experiment. Two precautions to be taken in this experiment. Then Ivy, the reasons for each of the precautions stated in III. So let's look at the expected answers. AI, reasons for the steps. For step one, it was carried out to kill the leaf cells or to stop chemical reactions taking place in the cells. That is, uh, when the leaf was boiled in water, the reason was to kill the leaf cells or to stop chemical reactions taking place in the cells. Or you can say that it is to enable alcohol or iodine to penetrate the leaf tissues. Better still, you can say that the heating was done to disrupt cell membrane or cuticles or cell wall so that the chemicals could penetrate into the tissue. Then, II. So the II step II, what did we do there? Let's look at II. The boiled leaf was placed in a test tube containing alcohol. So why did we place the boiled leaf in alcohol? So let's look at the answer. It was done for the alcohol to dissolve or to remove the chlorophyll or green pigment from the leaf. You see, the leaf contains the green pigment called chlorophyll, which is organic. So we needed an organic solvent to remove it. And that is why we used alcohol to remove the green pigment uh, chlorophyll. Because ordinary water or water is inorganic. And because water is inorganic, it doesn't dissolve organic solvent like chlorophyll. So we needed um, organic solvent to dissolve it. That's why we used alcohol. The boiled leaf was put in alcohol to dissolve the green pigment or to remove the green pigment from the leaf. So in III, the leaf was then dipped in warm water for three seconds. So why did we dip the leaf in warm water for three seconds? Mm -hmm. It was done to soften the leaf. So after you have boiled the leaf and you have put the leaf in alcohol, you then dip the boiled leaf in water so that it will soften the leaf and also to remove the alcohol from the leaf. I, I state two precautions that would be made after carrying out. So in step two, the leaf was placed in a test tube containing alcohol. So what are the observations that would be made after that step? When you put the leaf in boiling alcohol, these are the observations. One, the leaf would decolorize, meaning the green pigment will be removed, so the leaf becomes pale, or you can say that the leaf turns colorless, or the leaf change color, or you can say that the, the green pigment would be removed. So whenever you dip the leaf in alcohol, the alcohol will remove the green pigment. So that would be the observation. The green pigment would be removed or the leaf would change color. You see, alcohol is colorless. So the domain, you put the leaf in the alcohol and then the alcohol removes the green pigment. It means that the green pigment will then go into the alcohol. So in this case, the alcohol becomes green. So we can say that the alcohol will turn green or the alcohol also changes color from colorless to green. And then the leaf become brittle or firm or hard. So these are the expected answer from that question. Now let's go to III. 
two precautions to be taken in this experiment. One, avoid heating the alcohol over naked flame. Why? Because the alcohol is flammable. So if you heat it over naked flame, it will catch fire. Or you can say that heat the alcohol in boiling water or water bath. Another precaution is that use forceps to place the leaf into the boiling water or avoid using hand to place the leaf into the boiling water. Again, you wear your eyes safety goggles, wear your hand gloves, wash hands after the experiment. Leaves should be exposed to sunlight for at least three hours. And then wear a safety boots. Again, you also wear lab coat. These are some of the precautions to be taken. Then the next question says that you should state the reasons for each of the precautions stated in IRI. So we have mentioned some precautions in IRI. Why do you have to take such precautions? So let's look at the reasons for taking such precautions in IRI. One, you see, the first one is that we shouldn't heat the alcohol over naked flame. Why? Because alcohol is highly flammable. It is highly flammable, or you see, it is inflammable. And then we should use forceps whenever we are transferring the leaf into the boiling water. Why? Because it is done to avoid hurting or burning oneself. We should wear eye safety goggles. Why? To protect the eye. We should wear hand gloves to avoid injury to the hand. We should to remove traces of plant sap or traces of chemicals from the hand. That is right after the experiment we should wash our hands and also the leaf should be taken into the sun for at least three hours before the experiment just to ensure that photosynthesis has taken place or starch has been formed in the leaf and then we should wear safety boots to protect the feet from stepping on hot water or alcohol and also we should wear lab coats to protect the body from hot water or alcohol so these are some of the reasons for taking such precautions. So let's go to question B. In an experiment, a piece of bread was chewed. A piece of bread was chewed and placed in a petri dish for 10 minutes. It was transferred into a test tube, then Benedict solution was added and heated. I state the observation that could be made on heating with Benedict solution. I, I state the inference to be drawn after the test with Benedict solution. Then I, I, I explain briefly what could have happened at the end of the 10 minutes. So let's look at the answer. So the color changed from blue to brick red. So the color of the Benedict solution is bluish, but once you add it to the solution, it turns brick red at the end of the experiment. Inference. The inference is that uh, there is presence of redu reducing sugar or maltose. There is presence of reducing sugar or maltose. By any time, building solution on reducing sugars, that is the color change from blue to brick red. Reduced sugar is present. Explanation. Explain briefly what could have happened at the end of the 10 minutes. So, the reason is that when the bread was chewed for 10 minutes, uh, the saliva in the mouth contains slavery amylase, which acted on the uh, starch and it converted it to maltose. So salivary amylase uh, or tyrene converts starch or carbohydrate to maltose. Maltose is a reducing sugar. So it gave that break red test Benedict solution. Thank you for watching. After watching, share it with your friends and then like it as well. Thank you. My name is Samuel Enchu.